Here we go, 2023. We have a lot to cover, so let's get to it. What do you do in January in Ohio? Not much with grass, so try to work on your swing. It's a good time to do it. Tried some stuff outdoors with sticks. Didn't really like it. Buddy of mine showed me this trick with the box and some plastic balls indoors. Hit them into a tarp. I just clamped mine onto the garage door. Put some brackets there. Clamped on some tarps from, uh, you know, Harbor Freight. Boom. Mid-January, it snowed. It's cold outside. Unfortunately, we got some snow. Had some fun with uh, a bobsled run I make each year as long as we get snow. There we go. Back to golf. February, look at that. The greens are super soft. Deer been walking on them. I've been walking on them. Holy smoke. So I had to get something, you know. So there it is. There's the roller that I got. Had to trade a boat and some other things, but got basically $1,000 out of pocket. But man, that's a game changer right there. I had one I pushed around. It just didn't work, you know. But this one here, boom. Look at that. So sitting pretty good with that. Tried to make a top dresser. Uh, more on that later in the video. See how that goes, but man, I want to do a shout out to our local golf course here, Cherokee. I had no idea about these real mowers and how bad they were, and they spent a lot of time uh, helping me out. So big shout out. If you're around Bell Fountain, Ohio, please go check them out and play around. Great guys out there for sure. So thank you so much for all your help out there. All right, here we go. They're not looking too bad here, the greens. Uh, here comes March. Still a little chilly out. You know, so, but there's a view from the bridge. You see the fairway still. Everything's coming in pretty good. I'm pretty happy. So, yeah, I'm I'm excited for the year for 2023 here. There you go. There's a close-up one of the greens. Uh, we were out putting a little bit. So, went ahead and uh, aerated. So, here we go. I had one of these uh, little aerators. Just poked as many holes in the greens as I could. Just pulled it behind my bobcat. Um, I think I got it, what did it say, 50 bucks or something like that. That's all I had, but just punched as many holes as I could get in there. Um, I don't have one of the aerators, but check out 2024, and I might then. But anyways, uh, this worked pretty good. And, you know, it got some sand down there. So basically winging it by hand, right? Go get some sand out of your uh, from your local quarry. Wing it out there. Sweep it in. And there it is when it's done. So, Yeah. Not too bad, honestly. So April comes around. Here I've got my roller kind of flattening them out. You know, my, the Jacobson back in the back, the PGM. I'm using that for the collars. And then here's the uh, Eclipse 2. you got to mow at night sometimes. It's got a light on it, which is pretty awesome. Right there, some of the stuff I need to fix. You'll see on the edge. That comes up uh, later in the video. So, yeah, not looking too bad. Even the Tuesday Night League guys showed up. Good time for sure. Hey, check out uh, later in the video for our league night. You see the waterway that I put in last year. I'm trying to find this tile that'll go across the driveway and take it to the creek. So I was able to get a catch basin and uh, tie into that. Man, that helped a ton. But the problem was on the other side, and there it is when it's all done, not too bad. And I needed to get across the driveway and it was plugged. It was coming through all the way to the creek, but not a lot so yeah my hand tools right keeps you healthy keeps you young dig down there and find it once i found it buddy of mine there it is it was under the driveway he came back with his backhoe so i appreciate that shout out for that we found it fixed it um there's i'm trying to get some sod done um just enjoying the evening you know putting some uh seed down down by the creek uh took some samples for the first time and sent those in got some data on the greens uh did a lot of watering right now surprisingly we didn't have a lot of rain going on so a lot of watering but yeah not too bad getting outside it's one thing if you want to do this you got to do it rain or uh snow the first name of the golf course brogan's acres golf clubs you know came up with that and said why not and there was the first scorecard coming out about this time First time I actually played it, took some notes and stuff like that. Yeah, it ate me up. So, not so good. But May, looking pretty good. You know, again, I'm excited. I'm happy. So, check it out. This is what, uh, with the collars being mowed in there now and then having a first cut. Things are looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. The fairway mower, I'm getting that figured out. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy. 
things are, uh, you know, it's achievable, guys. So if you are in gals, if you want to do this, you can do it. Um, met a great guy through Backyard Greens on Facebook. Go check them out. They're awesome. I went down to North Hills Golf Course in Springfield, Ohio. Go check them out. They're awesome down there. Went to play around, and it was raining, so asked if I could talk to the superintendent, and they, they helped me out. He went over and uh, said, sure, and went and talked to him a bit, and we chatted for an hour or so. Went over his maintenance plan, different fertilizer he uses and everything, so go check them out, guys, if you're around here. Uh, great people, and I, I give him a shout-out for that. I had to get back to some drainage. There's the uh, catch basin out front I had to fix. There's a, a big ditch. I have a whole video on that one. But this is all about getting water where it needs to go. Get things to drain into the, the catch basins that I put in. Going out and around, you know, just getting it down to the creek. Cutting through some areas. So trying to do some overseeding. There's some water. And you can see the dead grasses there. Is it dead or not? I'll have a video about that. So... Stay tuned. But yeah, at this point in Ohio, watering and watering a lot. And when you get done, you water more. Uh, this is just a little edge. We were having some erosion problems. So I have a video about what I did with that. And uh, you can see what it looks like at the end. Check that out. Does this turn out bad? I don't know. Maybe. So anyways, check that video out as well. That'll be coming out. Um, so not bad. Things are good. Having a cocktail here and there, you know. Why not? June comes around. My cousin's a pilot, so asked if he could go and fly over the property. And, of course, he uh, he loves flying, so he would. That's where these pictures came from that I'm using in the uh, video. So appreciate that. Appreciate that, cousin. Back down to the ground here. Working on the tee boxes. Threw some uh, topsoil on them, you know, overseed them a little bit. Back where the bridge is, it was pretty rough. Again, threw some topsoil down there. Tried to get some uh, bluegrass, everything I'm trying to put in. Have, the guy came up with, you need to put some azaleas back here, like Augusta number 16. Had no idea what he's talking about. My bad. But uh, there you go. Trying these out. Hopefully they come back this year. Again, more watering. Pretty dry in Ohio, but that's okay. It's been working out. I'm trying to keep up with it here, but just use a lot of fuel and keeps going, you know. So, yeah, day and night. Water, water, water. So, anyways, um, moved the holes for the first time. We got golf league going on, you know, so... Oh yeah, big project here, taking down the big walnut tree. It's split uh, right there you go. There's a good view. It blocked that. So now I have actually two decent shots back and forth. So things are looking pretty good. I'm liking the greens and everything. Things are going good. Now uh, this is where the final scorecard came from. Uh, we ran through Golf League several times and then finally came about. So hey, there's a future Golf Leaguer, I bet. What do you think? Hopefully. And then, boom, July comes, and look what happens. The rain comes, storm comes through, knocks a tree down right on one of the greens there. That's number four. Boom. So, fortunately, not too much too damage. Right there's a couple um, logs stuck into the green. Poked a few holes, but thank goodness, not too bad. But, hey, it is July, and we all get together in this town here, a little town called East Liberty, and put on a big festival and a big fireworks. So really a big city fireworks from a small town. So come check it out July 6, 2024. All right, back to golf. The greens are finally getting legit. You can see here, just took a picture. There's some more videos that I'm going to have out more detail, but I won't make it too long. And look at that. I drug a walnut across there. I got underneath the greens mower. Learned how to work on the bed knives and uh, the reels a little bit more. So huge importance on what the bed knives and how sharp they are and the angles and all that so vacation comes around and man a huge shout out to a good friend of mine his son helped me out i appreciate that moan it was august 1st prime time for fungus uh oh but that's okay I come back had a little bit of fungus no big deal um you know use your uh, sprays be patient again and use the chemicals that's out there from i did some aerating again Everybody loves that for the greens, right? Tried my new uh, top dresser. Check that out. It'll be a video. Did it pass or fail? But hey, it's time to get ready for golf league. You know, here we go. It's league night. So, cruising around, getting the fairways, the greens going, uh, getting into what I call league spec, right? Things are looking pretty good. Having a good time. Uh, but wait a minute. There's something else. Yep, gotta roll them. They love it when I do this. Speeds them up a lot. Double roll them sometimes, but yeah, 
There we go. Now we're ready for league night. Game on. Here we go. So there's the guys. We're all getting ready to tee off here. Having a great time. League night video is coming soon. So here's September 2023. Close to the pin contest. So yeah, if you've seen the other videos, we do that. But this year, we're going to play our favorite nine on the Friday night before. The inaugural Brogan's Ridge Golf Invitational. Had a blast. There's the guys. Had a great time. So more on that. Again, we'll have some videos on that down the road. Back to close to the pin. Oh, wait. There's more. That's right. 135-yard shot. Hold a one shot. You get it in. You win 10000 bucks. You betcha. Nobody won this year, but everybody took a shot at it. There's a view going back to the tee box way back at 135 yards. It's a toughie. Nobody won it, but we had fun. All right, back to close to the pin. Here's the ladies' division. They're on that tough one. That's a short little 55-yarder. Uh-oh, something's going on with the guys here. All right, back to here, back to here, back to here, back to here. Get a roll, get a roll, that's it. Oh, it's gone, it's off. Oh, yeah. We even had a hole-in-one. So that was awesome. Great job to Tim. There's his uh, trophy we got him for his hole-in-one shot. So great job. So, yep, October comes around. Kind of back to the normal maintenance, fertilizing, uh, blowing leaves, things like that. You know, so it's a good time. We kept uh, leak going for a while, and then basically it got too cold, time change, and all that stuff. So back to blowing leaves, kind of maintenance, and getting ready to put this thing to bed here. So... Yep. Oh, yeah. Walnuts, just like 2022. So we did clear out right here in between the along the creek there. So that's going to help. So, all right, 2023, hey, that's a wrap. So appreciate it. Um, please subscribe, like, and share on Facebook. And most of all, thank you.